Hey, this is Aaron and welcome to my Maker Portfolio. For the last month and a half, I've been hard at work on one of my favorite projects yet, an active stability system for model rockets that I call Zenit. Thrust vector rocketry is for the motorist gimbal to keep the rocket on course. This technique is extremely common in the real space industry. I realized that there were three major components to the project. In order, they are a guidance computer to know where the rocket is, software to compute corrections, and hardware to carry those corrections out. I have experience with Arduino from previous projects, but I decided on the Teensy line of microcontrollers because of their ARM processor, which runs faster. For the purposes of space and volume, I decided to make a fully custom PCB designed in Eagle, which came with its own routing challenges, especially as it was four layer. The main components are GPS, microcontroller and bootloader chip, sensor cluster, and end channel monsters for the power system. On the back, there's most of the passive components as well as the SD card slot for data logging. So after spending several weeks designing, routing, stuffing, assembling, and debugging the main guidance computer and a pad controller, I couldn't believe it when it worked. What? Oh my god. The guidance software was also key. One important part was the safety system, which has hardware and software components. For orientation tracking, on the pad I used a complementary filter. However, in flight, I have to use just the gyro because of vibration. All parts of the rocket were designed in SolidWorks and 3D printed. I took advantage of advanced features like SolidWorks simulation to ensure they wouldn't break in flight. Building on my experience as engineering captain of my school's FRC robotics team, I tested this project in several stages as the hardware and software evolved. I started with just shoot ejection testing and later moved up to testing in a gimbal. As the clock wound down to launch, I was nervous to see how things would turn out. One. Okay, so clearly that wasn't the original flight plan, but let's look closer. On startup, the rocket pitches over because of mount misalignment. Then you can see the mount try to correct. Even under dampen, this validates that the control system is working. This is also reflected in the flight data. Given the scope and difficulty of this project, I'm still extremely proud of the work and progress I've made in such a short time. In the future, I'm excited to see where this project and others in my portfolio will end up with more knowledge and skills.